You know what's always a little bit weird? The delivery people situation. Look, I often order Thai food from a place near me. When the delivery person gets to my place, I don't want to just grab the food and say thanks. I always feel like I should ask them how their day was, how's mom, stuff like that. But now there's a delivery innovation that can help totally cut down on my small talk. And let me get right to eating my pad thai. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. The word autonomous means to act independently or have the freedom to do so. When it comes to autonomous machines and devices, our reliance on them is growing at a rapid rate. Autonomous technology has been used to pilot airplanes, drive cars on the freeway, and now deliver dinner to your door. The Starship delivery robot is an autonomous robot that delivers food, groceries, and parcels to residents in a local neighborhood. It travels on the sidewalks, it doesn't need human help, and it has a radius of about two miles and delivers on demand in 15 to 30 minutes. I made my way to Redwood City, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, to meet Starship Technologies and Henry Harris Berlin, who was eager to show me their prototype robot they hope disrupts the logistics industry. So this is the robot. Can you walk me through some of the uh, specs here? Sure. To start with, the robot has nine cameras around the front and back. So we have cameras around here. We have cameras around the back as well here. Then we have a different array of sensors. Some of the sensors you can see and some of them you can't. So ultrasonic sensors around here and also around the sides we have ultrasonic sensors. That's for your basic obstacle detection. The robot's six wheel drive. It turns on its axis. It can go up and down curb stones. Why six wheels? So we went through many prototypes, but the result of some real testing well, six wheels is the most stable. It has the middle two wheels. It can turn completely on an axis. And that really, really helps with movability. The robot is locked during a delivery. So it's locked right now. Yeah. You can't get in. Oh, wow. And then we can unlock. Huh, it's a pretty good amount of space. It's about, it's 20 pounds, 10 kilograms it can carry. When most people think about navigation, they think about GPS and the satellites. Why the decision to go with cameras instead? It's about accuracy. GPS is only accurate to maybe 5, 10 meters, maybe 20 feet, give or take. So when you're operating on the sidewalk, the robot can't be 20 feet or 10 meters inaccurate, otherwise it might cause an accident. The delivery robot has proprietary mapping software that helps it learn more about an area each time it makes a trip, giving it more autonomous ability. It even has headlights for deliveries at night, but the robot is always monitored. We actually don't want 100% autonomous driving. That's because there's always a scenario that a robot can find itself in, which is very tricky for the technology to get out of. The current focus is for deliveries in the food, grocery, and parcel industries. Future plans involve sending fleets of robovans into neighborhoods to make hundreds of fulfillments all at once. Obviously, civic guidelines for autonomous robots cruising on public sidewalks need to be worked out. But the idea a machine can bring me something I forgot at the office with a click of an app? I don't mind sharing a sidewalk. <laughs>